Let's talk about some college affordability tips that are specific to non-traditional students or maybe students who started college later in life, started, stopped, and then decided to go back again, and then also for veterans. Well, for veterans, that we have a veterans office, a very good veterans office in Buchanan Hall, and they help the veteran navigate through the veterans benefit process. They do, they do more than that. They have programs, um, they have social activities. I mean, they do a lot for the veteran to try to reintroduce them into the college life and, and give them a place where they fit in, help them with possibly advising or study sessions. It, it is helping them with their veterans benefits, which is one of their main concerns, but it also helps reintroduce them to campus life and make sure that, that uh, their needs are, are taken care of. If you're talking just straight non-traditional students, that depends. It depends on where they are in life. A lot of non-traditional students, um, you know, they may be married with children, very difficult to have a regi uh, residential campus experience. I mean, they're probably working. A lot of times, uh, we, we look to like our College of Liberal Studies that has a lot of online courses. Their traditional, uh, non-traditional student is sort of the norm. So that may be the best fit for, uh, for especially working families that where they're trying to go back to school after a certain amount of time. Still eligible for financial aid, still have you know the classroom experience if they want it, but also have a lot of online offerings if they want to go that direction too. Financial aid is available for non-traditional students, um, just as it is for traditional students. Actually, once a student uh, turns 24, they no longer have to put their parental income on the FAFSA. A lot of times students can get more financial aid eligibility by being past that traditional student age. So I would encourage them to fill out the FAFSA, uh, see what their eligibility is. You know, maybe they started when they were 18 with their parents' income, they didn't qualify. Now they you know, left school and are, are wanting to come back at age 24 fill out the FAFSA again and find out what your eligibility is because all those same programs are available for non-traditional students. And including going on FastWeb and becoming familiar with the types of scholarships that are available maybe for students in their particular category. Absolutely and actually that non-traditional status is a category within FastWeb. So they have scholarships that are categorized as non-traditional like you know I know of one that's a uh, a student has to be female, 35, and a single mom. And that's the eligibility criteria for that scholarship. And then you write an essay about how the scholarship would help you. So th those are just you know, one example of lots of scholarships that are out there. But that one's targeted at non-traditional students.